Hi everybody and welcome to Mr. Gard's maths class. We're going to be going through the chapter on measurement. We're going to start this by talking about using and converting metric lengths. So we're not worrying at this stage about imperial lengths like miles, yards, inches. We are focusing primarily on kilometres, metres, centimetres and millimetres. Firstly, it's important to think about where we use specific units of measurement. So I've got a couple of little pictures there. If we were talking about the distance between planets and we wanted to explain to someone how far away Saturn was from Earth, it is unlikely that you're going to tell them how many millimetres away it is or how many metres it is to Saturn you're in most likelihood going to talk about kilometres or even find a larger unit. The kilometres might be a common use. It would be many kilometres, but that would be the best way of explaining how far away Saturn is. Now, it wouldn't matter if you were out by, you know, a few metres. If you'd explain to someone that the distance to Saturn was for instance, a million kilometres, but it was actually a million kilometres and another 20 metres, no one's going to pull you up on it. So you sort of are going to be rounding off roughly. Another example is if you were building a house, it wouldn't be good enough to say, okay, I need that piece, that piece for the door to be two metres, when really you needed it to be... 186.2 centimetres. So builders often refer to distances in millimetres, particularly if they are building the inside of a house. Perhaps if they were laying a concrete slab, they might round off to the nearest centimetre. If you were talking about the size of different bacterial um, cells, you would again use a different type. You might say millimetres if they were very big bacterial cells, or you might even go smaller and call them micrometres or even nanometers. Everything is relevant or dependent on what it is you are measuring and how accurate you need to be. One final example is if you were creating a spaceship or a rocket ship to fly to the moon, you need to be more accurate than to the nearest millimetre. You probably need to make sure everything is to the nearest micrometre so that when you are flying through space or re-entering Earth's atmosphere, you don't burn up. On the screen, you see a really important section for what we're going to be doing on this whole measurement unit in purple. I've written here kilometres, metres, centimetres and millimetres. Now, it's a really good idea to get used to drawing these because they're going to help you answer a number of questions. So as you can see, I'm drawing a series of loops connecting them. Now, it's important to remember how many kilometres or how many metres are in one kilometre. We might remember that one kilometre is the same as 1,000 metres, you know, roughly 1,000 steps. One sort of big step is about a metre on most people. So if we are converting from kilometres to metres, we need to multiply our number by 1,000. And you might think, hang on, why am I multiplying if I'm going down to metres? It's because for every one kilometre, you can fit a thousand metres into it. So you might have had one kilometre, or let's say four kilometres. It is now 4,000 metres. Likewise, when we go from one metre to centimetres, there are 100 centimetres in a metre. 
and again from millimeters or centimeters to millimeters we can fit 10 millimeters look at your ruler if you're unsure of some of these particularly millimeters and centimeters the same process works in reverse if you have been given let's say 30 millimeters and i'm asking you how many centimeters that is if you can fit 10 millimeters in one centimeter then there must be three centimeters so we actually do the opposite so we divide by 10 divide by 100 and divide by 1000 now over on the left in orange we're going to complete these little sections so four centimeters how many millimeters well let's first look at the centimeters part so we're here and we want to be turn it into millimeters so our process is to multiply by 10 so 4 multiplied by 10 is 40 millimeters if we were to go from 10 meters and we want to convert to centimeters we need to multiply by 100 so 10 multiplied by 100 is 1,000 centimetres. If I was to, let's get a different colour here. If I was to go from 2 kilometres into metres, I need to multiply by 1,000. which will equal 2,000 metres. And finally, one example going in reverse is 3,000 metres going into kilometres. Therefore, we have to divide by 1,000. So 3,000 divided by 1,000 is simply three. So there you have it. I'll just undo that. What you see with those purple loops is going to be required for almost all of your lessons. It's important that you know why it works that way. Okay, but at this early stage, it's important that you just remember how to do that loop, that loop system, because that will help you solve the questions as you slowly get your head around how it all works. Hope you've enjoyed this lesson and good luck with your questions and I'll see you when we do perimeter.